Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create Lucario from Pokemon. I decided to recreate some of the new amiibo character releases. This is done with only face paint, so my nose isn't going to be perfect like Lucario's, but I'm a human, not a dog fox wolf thing. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, now let's begin. I'm starting off the look by using a white eyeliner pencil to trace out the mask and eyes. It's easier to trace them out and then paint them on than it is to just paint them on. This helps give you an idea of where everything is going to be placed instead of just painting the eyes and mask right away and then realizing you messed up and having to take off all that face paint. After I've done that, I mix a little bit of Mehran's light blue face paint with Mehran's lagoon blue face paint and I use that to paint the skin around the mask. I've been loving Meiji Look's foundation brush to paint large areas of skin. It doesn't leave a lot of streaks and that's a problem I find lots of times when I'm painting large areas of skin. I just end up getting my makeup to streak a lot if I'm not using a good brush. So I, I'm not being paid to say that or anything. Like I just really honestly like it and I thought I would share that. So after that I go ahead and use Graftobian's Raven Black Face Paint to paint the mask, nose, and mouth. Lucario resembles a fox even though he isn't one so you got to try to make the paint um, in the area that the mask and nose meet a straight diagonal line. This is going to help it not look too much like a cat even though it's kind of hard to do without the aid of prosthetics and because Lucario is blue and not like the colors of a fox. And you also want to make sure your lip is placed where your mouth opens. This is going to help take away attention from your real lips. I also created a very light fur strokes starting near the mask and bringing it down toward the lips kind of like in a curved V shape you don't want it to be like a straight kind of V shape otherwise again it's going to end up looking like a cat you just kind of want to do it in the face shape of a real fox to make your face appear a little bit smaller paint around your jawline and then paint your ears black to hide your ears and then you're going to use a white face paint to paint the whites of the eyes and then you're going to go back with the black face paint to start painting on the actual eyeball to outline it and then paint a little black spot that's going down the middle of each eye. You're going to paint the iris red and you want to use a light and dark red to do this. So you're going to paint certain areas on the iris using the light red and other areas using the dark red. And then you're going to use the black face paint to draw some lines going through the eye. And then you're going to use the white face paint to paint little circles sporadically. And this looks a little bit more anime. It just makes the eyes look cooler when you do it this way rather than just painting the iris like a flat out red color. Use the white face paint to highlight the nose so it makes it stand out a little bit more so you can see it so it just doesn't look like a mask. And then I'm using my blue face paints to paint my hair. Now you can use like spray, temporary hairspray, but I didn't have any and also I find that the face paint actually works better in my hair. I don't know if this is necessarily dangerous for your hair, but I've never seen anybody really actually do this. I just do it. I don't do it all the time so my hair is still... You know, it's manageable, like, after I do this. I should mention I made my ears out of construction paper and I glued them onto a headband and I painted them using my face paints. After I got the ears on and I painted them a little bit, I went ahead and used a black eyeshadow to shade around the eyes just a little bit so this adds more dimension. Um, dimension to the eyes and then I use the black eyeshadow to shade around the mask and make certain areas darker especially around the edges of the mask. You want to use eyeshadows to create fur and you want to use eyeshadows because it's easier to do and easier to blend them out. And you're going to use three different blue eyeshadows. All the eyeshadows I'm using are for my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I go ahead and start shading um, some fur or applying the eyeshadow to create some fur um, right on the cheekbones. And I use a medium blue to do that and then I use a lighter blue to highlight around the fur so that it really pops out and to highlight right where my like the nose meets the mouth because this makes it look a little bit more like a fox nose and then I use a darker blue eyeshadow to shade around the fur and just really help it um, like pop out so you can see it a little bit more and you want to create fur 
where the cheekbones are and like near the forehead. Moving on to the body. I know not everybody's going to do this, so I'll try to keep it sweet and simple. What you're going to do to create like um, Lucario's outfit, you're going to mix yellow and white face paint together. And you want to like kind of apply it streaky so it adds some like texture to the shirt. And you're going to do that before you apply the black face paint because it's easier to do it this way. So go ahead and paint on the outfit and then go back with the black face paint to um, outline the outfit and then to paint the sleeves of Lucario's shirt and also around the neck so that you know your regular skin isn't like peeking through. You want to go ahead and paint a spike going through the outfit and you want to use the black face paint to shade a little bit behind the spike so that it really looks like it's popping out and then you go ahead and paint your arm color the color you painted your skin and then the spike you want to paint white and then you want to use the black eyeshadow to shade around the um, spike and behind the spike especially behind the spike because this is going to make it like look a little bit more 3D and you want to create a little shadow below the spike as well. And that's really all I did for that. And then I go ahead and like painted my hand and my arm just for pictures. I know a lot of people aren't going to do that. So I just did that and I'm not going to really explain it because it was basically the same thing that you do on the body. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And if you want to see any more Ami Amiibos recreated, go ahead and leave your request down below. So I'll see you in my next tutorial. Take care. Bye.